Hello everyone. Today I'm going to talk about standard form. It's simply another way of writing numbers, specifically very large numbers or very small numbers, in a very standard way. The first number is between 1 and 10, and then we times it by 10 to a particular power. It can also be used for very small numbers, but this time it becomes a negative power. And also, very, very large numbers like this. Obviously, it'd be very easy to miss off a naught here. So writing it in standard form, we get 5.93 times 10 to the 9. So let's look at how we convert numbers into standard form and then back again. OK, let's look at that first one. 722. The rule with standard form is we have to have a number between 1 and 10 is our start. So we're going to put a decimal point just there. 7.22 and then we always go times 10 and the decimal point is here and we're going to move it two places 1, 2 to the left like that to make it 7.22 two places to the left 10 to the 2 OK, let's do a couple more. 7.22. This one, we need a number between 1 and 10, so we're going to end up with 5.6. We add these other numbers on. Once we get to trailing zeros, we can stop. And it's going to be times 10. Let's see how many places. The decimal point is there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 10 to the 4. And another one. A number between 1 and 10, 7.5. Now I notice we've got this 6 here, so we must put those zeros in there. So we can position that 6. And then we don't have to worry about this one. Our decimal point is here. So we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Times 10 to the 5. And just one more with the large numbers. A number between 1 and 10. 6.2. We add on the 5. We're going to need this 0. We're going to need the 6 and another 0 because we've got a 3 there. We can stop then. Times 10 to the. Let's have a look. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Times 10 to the 7. And that's how we convert large numbers to standard form. Another question we might have is to be given standard form and asked to just convert it back to an ordinary number. So let's try that. Let's go 5.71 times 10 to the 4. So what's that going to be? Well we know it's going to be 5 seven one at least and we're gonna to have to move the decimal point this way now and we're gonna to have to go four steps so it was there 5.7 one two another one so we've got a zero there and one more zero so let's just check it one two three four we'll do another one right this one's going to be 6, 8, 4. There's two places. And now we're going to add on another 4 noughts. I'll show you why. We've got here 6.84. So we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Because it's 10 to the 6. Another way of looking at it, if you've got something 10 to the 6 and it's in standard form, you should end up with seven numbers here 
before you end up with a decimal point there. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's another check you can do. Okay, let's look at numbers less than one now. So what would this be converted to standard form? Well, it's got to be a number between one and 10. So it's going to be a four times 10. We we'll just look at this. To get to that, put the decimal point there, which is just past this four. We're going to have to go one, two, three. So it's 10 to the three. And because it's less than one, it's negative. We're going to the right. Another way of looking at it is the four there will be the third number we come to after the decimal point. One, two, three. Let's try a couple more. Again, we need a number between one and 10. So we're gonna go for the seven, but we've also got this six. So we have to go 7.06 times 10 and we're going to use that rule now of getting to this 7 right 1 2 3 4 5 7 is the fifth number and it's negative and one more okay look at this it's going to be 3.705, a number between one and 10. 3.705 times 10 to the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 11. The three is the 11th one and it's negative. Okay, we now convert these numbers here in standard form. They're all less than one. And we're gonna go back to an ordinary number. So let's have a look. We use this here, we got three. So we know it's gonna be zero point and the seven will be the third number. Zero, zero, seven. And then we just add the four, six on like that. Let's see if we can do this one. This one's a five there. So the five here is going to be the fifth number after the decimal point. One, two, three, four. So we pop the five in and then we need all these numbers here just as they are. Three, one, zero, four. And this one here is to the minus two, zero, point zero there's one of the numbers and then the three goes there because it's the second number three three oh five that's how to convert numbers into standard form and back again i think um in a future video i'll show how to manipulate numbers multiplying and dividing standard form because that becomes a lot easier than ordinary numbers but that's for another video if you found the video useful, then do go ahead and click the like button. Okay, bye.